What's up guys? In this video I'm going to show you how to host your own domain on triple zero web host. This is for people who have bought a custom domain like adam.com or adam.org. We're going to be filling out this top box. If you haven't bought a domain yet but want to do this, I recommend namesilo.com. They have domains for $8.99 and if you use my coupon code ADAM, you can get a dollar off your order and only pay $7.99 for a domain, which is a good deal. So say I want to do adam.com. So we're gonna, you're just going to want to set up that account and it'll take a minute or two to build. I've already built it. Then you want to go to your cPanel and you notice here that it'll say your domain is not yet pointing to our servers. What you have to do is where you bought your domain you have to update the name servers and the information is right, right here. It's going to be like ns01.000 webhost. That's what you have to put in your domain registrar company. This is another reason why I like name silo because during the registration process it lets you do this so you don't have to fiddle later. Like This is the registration page for name silo. It'll ask you if you want to enter name servers. And you could just stick this name server information right in here during the registration process. Which is very convenient. But say you're not using name silo. I also have a domain at Namecheap and I'll show you how they do it there. So I click on my domain. And on the side here it has domain name server setup. And this is where I'd put my domain name information. You put want to put it at number one and number two. If you're having trouble finding out how to update your name servers with your domain registrar, just go to Google or YouTube and do a search, something like update name servers GoDaddy. So you're using GoDaddy, and you should be able to find the answer somewhere. Once you've updated the name servers, you're pretty much set. Uh, you might have to wait a day or two because sometimes it takes a little time for the name servers to update. But I mean, it usually only takes a few hours. So if you found this video helpful, like it, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks.